Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at a pair of boots called Treads of Seathon. Treads of Seathon are relatively low level boots at level 15, and um, they're fairly good boots at level 15. Um, in fact, if you have a pair of Treads of Seathon, Seathon it's good to save them for some, uh, some lower level characters. Um, I don't believe the stats on these things actually vary at all, but let me do a quick double check just to be sure. And uh, let's see, Treads of Seathon. No, they do not. So it looks like you will pretty much always find this in the same condition uh, with a very, very, very tiny variable on defense. Um, so we have a, a defense of 26 on these with a um, strength requirement of 30, which is relatively nothing. Uh, a level requirement of 15, which puts this in a very good place to be used alongside other very nice level 15 sets and items. Like for instance, uh, Twitch is level uh, Twitch Throw is level 16. Uh, Irotha's set is level 15. Um, so forth and so on. There are a lot of uh, good level 15 items. Um, this one is 30% faster run walk, which is always nice to have on a character. 40% enhanced defense, which does vary by 10%. So you all have a slight variable on the defense there. Plus 12 to the base defense, which is very nice. Um, so you know, on top of the uh, ED, you also get the just the flat 12 defense added. Uh, we also have 50 defense versus missile, which, uh, believe it or not, at level 15 is actually going to be quite nice to protect you from those fire archers and sewers. Uh, plus 10 to life and 50% uh, slower stamina drain, which around level 15, believe it or not, stamina drain is an issue. Uh, so, uh, so having these is actually pretty sweet. Um, they don't have any resistances on them, and they don't have anything super special like like a deadly strike or open wounds or uh, you know anything like that. But they do have uh, some very nice run speed. They have very nice ability to keep you running by reducing your stamina drain, and, uh, and you get a little bit of defense and some uh, and some life while you're at it, which is not terrible. Um, these can also be upgraded. So uh, so let's go ahead and we'll play around with that. Um, so we need a shale, a talrune, and a diamond, I believe. Alright, so uh, our Treads of Seathon, which are uh, 26 defense with a strength of 30 and a level requirement of 15, uh, will go to uh, Mesh Boots, which are 72 defense, strength requirement 65, which still isn't too bad, and a level requirement of 30. It's not a bad upgrade. Um, I feel like Treads of Seathon's main disadvantage is that they just tend to be not as good as some other options at the higher levels. But at level 30, I could still see using Treads of Seathon for a little while until you come across something better. It depends on the kind of character you are. Um, if you're a melee character, you might be using um, Goblin Toes for the crushing blow. But, um, you know, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a variable. Now, uh, to upgrade these a second time to their uh, higher counterpart, we are going to need a, uh, a Lemrune a co-rune, uh, and another perfect diamond, which I'm going to go grab real quick. All right, so the uh, second tier upgrade, which is going to bring this from the mesh boots to the elite version, is a lem, a co, and a perfect diamond. Now, before we transmute this up, let's talk about the uh, first tier upgrade here. So um, is the first tier upgrade really worth it? I'm not sure that it is. I feel like the Treads of Seathon are really just boots that shine as lower level boots. And, uh, and they don't necessarily shine well as higher level boots. Uh, level 30 is low enough that I feel like you're still within an acceptable range that you could get away with wearing these. Um, but as we upgrade these to the next tier, you might understand why it's not really a good idea to upgrade it a third time. Um, so we've got 72 defense, 65 strength requirement, and level 30, which goes to a 103 strength requirement uh, bone weave boots with uh, 118 strength and uh, 66 level requirement. Did I say 103 defense? I don't even remember. So defense of 103, which is uh, which is a fairly nice defense on a pair of boots, but uh, but with the strength requirement and the level requirement going up so vastly, I just don't really feel like the treads of Seathon really make a lot of sense for a third tier upgrade. I feel like they're uh, they're perfectly fine for a first tier upgrade from the normal difficulty to the exceptional, but not quite for for the um, exceptional to the elite. Um, they really don't have enough like unique 
statistics on them to make them worthwhile. Um, at level 15, the slower stamina drain is actually quite nice. The, um, the 10 to life is actually quite nice at level 15, believe it or not. At level 15, that's actually quite a decent amount of, uh, of extra life. Um, the defense on these is actually pretty good at level 15, and so is the faster run walk. But when you upgrade them to level 30, the 10 life is not so great anymore. Um, the 50% slower stamina drain isn't really as great anymore either because you're not having issues with stamina as much anymore at level 30. Maybe a little bit, but not quite as much as you were at level 15. Um, and then when you upgrade them the third time to the uh, level 66 requirement, the plus 10 to life is relatively nothing. The 50% uh, slower stamina drain is completely pointless because at this point you don't have any issues with stamina anymore. And um, the defense isn't even that amazing. I mean, they're they're okay, but they're not like uh, the Gore Rider Myrmidon Greaves over here, which are uh, 213 uh, defense, which is uh, quite a bit more. All in all, I have to say that um, the, the Treads of Seathon really shine in their original form. Um, they are great for low-level characters. They help keep your stamina from uh, from depleting it too quickly. They, uh, the defense versus missile actually comes in handy quite a bit versus the skeleton archers and spear cats of Act 2. And ironically, if you have these boots at level 15, level 15 is right about the time when you start to get to Act 2 and you start to actually make um, your way through. So so these boots actually show up just in time to give you that uh, that helping hand versus the right monsters that they're intended for. Um, and at level 15, you have tons of scam stamina issues. So, uh, you know, your 50% your slower stamina drain is definitely going to come in handy as well, and being able to run faster is definitely going to come in handy. Um, I definitely would say that if you find a pair of treads of Seathon, hold on to them, because um, at level 15, this is like your go-to item. It's uh, it's really going to uh, to give you everything you need pretty much at level 15 to run around faster and run around longer and uh, hopefully help stay help you help you stay alive versus those uh those freaking uh, uh archers that spam arrows of fire at you um there's really not a lot more to say about an item like this it's a very simple very effective item and um i don't feel like it's good for a third tier upgrade um, I always was attracted to them, though, because they're, they're chain, and I love chain objects, and then they're green on top of that, so they're green chain, and I always thought they had a really cool graphic. Um, even back in the original version, uh, if you look at the original graphic, the original graphic has the same sort of, like, green look to it. That's, it's very cool. And, of course, they have the nice sound effect. <laughs> Um, anyway, I don't really think there's much more I can say about this item, so uh, I will end it here. As always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and uh, if you want to find this item, I'm pretty sure that you're going to find this just about anywhere in Act 2 normal and up. Um, I don't think they drop in Act 1 normal, but, uh, but they're going to drop literally just about anywhere in the game, Act 2 normal and up. Um, all the way up to Hell difficulty. Like, you can literally get them from Bale in, in, uh, in Hell, which is, um, which is a sadness. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, keep watching.